my name is Vicky and this is my channel. Thank you so much for coming. I hope that you like the video that you'll be seeing shortly and don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free of charge. Also smash that notification bell so you do not miss a video coming out soon. And um, I'm on Instagram. If you happen to also be on Instagram, please follow me. I would really appreciate it. Uh, and it's the same handle, Victoria Sleep Vicky. So this video is about something that I've been not sure if I was going to do, but I knew I had to do something to the effect of and have been pushing myself to do and get ready to do as well as whether I wanted to share it with you guys or not. And you know, every now and then, you no, know you need to, but you kind of like hesitant, so you kind of wait or procrastinate. Um, yeah. So that's what's going on. I am popping back up on keto, and that's what this video is, is about. So, um, if this is your first time coming here, welcome, welcome. If this is not, welcome back. Thank you for watching and subscribing. And um, also, if you've never come and watched any of my videos, I am a homeschooling mother of three. My eldest is in the Navy and my younger two are seven and two. I know it's really crazy age gap. My eldest is 19. <laughs> um, and, um, and I homeschool and I love Jesus and there'll be some content about that as well and I love DIY and crafting and cleaning and organizing and homemaking and wife making and rearing child rearing and um, homeschooling um, just all the things as well as just my personal goals of fitness and weight loss as well as being healthy um, and help and creating good healthy habits that we love and can continue to have for life. So that's pretty much what you'll see on my channel. And if that's something that you're interested in, please, please, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and jump on into the video. So I started keto back in 2019, um, June of 2019. And I pretty much continued on keto through, I think December 15th, I think it was, December 15th. And uh, I did indulge for Thanksgiving as well as for Christmas, but I did it up until the 15th because um, we ended up having to take a trip out to Illinois. Uh, that's where I was born and raised. Um, I am a Chicagoan at heart, uh, but I do live in Florida, and I have lived in Florida for quite some time. For Chicago is home. So, um, yeah, we went to Illinois to go see my son's, my eldest son's uh, graduation from boot camp, and um, and I didn't want to have unrealistic patients or make it even more difficult on myself to be able to maintain the keto lifestyle while I was there um, and try to put that on my brother and sister-in-law whom we were staying with um, and their family to help me to make. I didn't want to make them do that. So I like to try to make things as easy as possible. It was already really hard trying to take a little one who's super hyper on such a trip. And so that's why I kind of like stopped then um and then after he graduated we came back home he was able to fly home with us or to us for christmas just in time for christmas <laughs> and like yeah by the skin of his teeth he made it and um and then he stayed I think so like January 2nd, I believe it was of 2020, um, he stayed and then he had to go to his uh, A school. And so he went out to A school and I was going to get kind of back on keto 
but I wasn't so sure. Now the reason why I stepped off of keto is not just because of his graduating and then um, not wanting to make it be a difficult guest for my brother and sister-in-law, but um, I felt good where I was at. I thought I could continue with the momentum. I was already beginning to look at um, gyms in our local area that would provide childcare so that I could maintain going there and working out and creating good healthy lifetime healthy habits. Um, my husband is a fireman, so his schedule can be really uh, difficult <laughs> sometimes. Um, it's just a lot. A fire wife is, only a fire wife knows a fire wife. It's, it's a lot. So, um, so that was pretty much like what I wanted to do. I figured, okay, low carb is definitely the way to go, but I don't have to remain like keto. I could just do low carb and, um, go to the gym. And I kind of indulged and indulged and indulged and, you know, we had, um, Christmas, we had New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, we had, uh, my husband's birthday, my mother's birthday, um, what was it, um, Valentine's Day in February, uh, March is our anniversary, so <laughs> we had a lot of stuff to do and celebrating and stuff, so I had gained back some weight, but not Definitely not all of it, but I definitely gained back some weight and I like, I knew it and I was like, you know what? It's okay. Let me just be okay with it, but I know I'm going to go back. And then COVID hit and that kind of ain't like just upended my abilities for looking at gyms and, um, and then we just had some other things going on too. And I kind of like got a little depressed, um, in April and May. And it just got hard. I mean, every, I'm sure everybody feels the same way. And so therefore, I guess you could say that I quote unquote gained like quarantine pounds. I don't know if that's what you want to call it. I Then that's what it is. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. I ended up just gaining weight. And I knew that I wanted to lose weight, but I just wasn't quite sure that I had figured out that my hair had like terribly thinned out and um found out that a lot of people that do keto have that same issue found out that a friend of mine a good friend of mine um went on keto and had the same issue she told me that what was it I think it was in January that she told me that and I was figuring this out and I was like whoa like I don't think I want to do keto anymore like um I want to be cute and I want to be fit and I want to have a snatched up body I'm trying to look like um, a fit mom, a cute, a hot mom, like, I want to look hot, not for nobody else, but for me, I'm not going to feel good about myself, to be honest, without my hair, and then, like, it's just, eh. so it was just a whole thing, it was just, just added to the whole cycle, and lo and behold, I, I gained the quarantine pounds, I had almost gained all the way back, but I was just like, oh, heck no, I'm not going to, I put my foot down and anchored that. And I was like, nope, we're going to put a line down. We're not going to keep gain all this weight back. No way on earth. Um, and then I started doing some different researching and I had a, um, a, a checkup with the doctor and I spoke with her about it. And she said, what did she tell me? She told me, uh, she kind of told me the same thing that my friend's doctor told her, that keto was really not meant for you to do. Um, it's not good for a person to do keto for more than three months. That is what was told to her by her doctor. And so to speak, somewhat of the same thing that was told to me by mine. And, um, and she said, well, your body, if your body's losing hair, it's because it's, um, is trying to let go of what's least important. It thinks that you're in this highly crucial survival mode and it's just trying to keep your body going. Now, granted, I definitely had more weight that I could have lost. So it was pretty puzzling to me that that would already be taking place when I 
hadn't even hit like I was hitting goals, but I hadn't I hadn't hit my like I'm nearly there goal, like my one big big goal. So I don't know how to explain that. I had small goals, but I had like one like benchmark goal that was like yes. And then I had the end all goal. I didn't even hit the benchmark goal yet. So I was and am still puzzled as to why it is that my body felt like it didn't need the hair. Mama needs the hair. I want the hair. The hair has to stay. <laughs> Take the fact. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I still don't know. I guess I have to like go back and ask. Um, and maybe I, I will, I probably will, but I did ask her and she just suggested, you can go ahead and go do keto, but do not do it for more than three months and try not to go hardcore. And then I, she said, I wouldn't even do it three months. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, and she said, definitely not, but make sure that my magnesium and my potassium are on point. Make sure I'm drinking ample amounts of water, which I really, really stink at right now. Um, and so she said also to that low carb is more than likely the best for me um, longer than three months as well as long term. Not to go keto low carb, but to do a low carb diet to find that probably the magic number for everybody and apparently my body doesn't agree with keto low carb so it has to be um it can't be just 30 grams of carbs a day it has to be more than that so i said okay well then i have lots and lots of research to do and thinking to do and weighing out to do and comparing and contrasting and i was like well the 21 day fix diet worked for me before but that was a lot of prepping and stuff and counting and I was just having a hard time applying that now. And then there's a lot of different foods and a lot of different ways that work. Um, uh, so I was just like, uh, um, I needed something simple. Granted, when I did the 21 day fix, I had my now 19 year old and then I had my first daughter and I had my second daughter. So having two littles definitely changed the game. And for any mother out there with more than one little, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Power to you. And if you've done it, oof, power to you. Because, uh, oh, who, who's that? Um, that one lady, oh, man, I'm always amazed by this lady. She's a, um, a fellow YouTuber. And uh, her name is Ashley. And she is the YouTuber of Grace and Grit. Um, first of all, she's 5'8", like, jealous, and how does that not look like that on camera? That's so mind-boggling to me, but at the same time, she has four kids, and they had to be little at one point, and she is, like, as fit as a fiddle, so at least that's my opinion, but she's done it, um, and doing it, and continuing to do it. So my goal is really to be fit. There's certain milestones I'd like to hit. There's certain things that I'm looking for. But all in all, I know that the goal is really healthy fitness um, and loving the current physique that I, at that time. So um, after all of looking up all of these different things and whatnot, low carb is the way to go. I know me, I'm kind of an all or nothing kind of girl. Like, you can't play with me. Don't tease me. That's just not nice, first of all. And second of all, it's really not going to do you any better. <laughs> um, it's just not nice. Just don't do it. But um, having thought about all the different things and really thinking about my health, my overall health, um, I felt like I needed something that would be a serious jump start. Yeah, a jump start. So I needed something that would be a really, really good jump start that ha it had to be easy and, ma and easy to maintain. I'm not buying this whole different list of groceries different from my kids. Okay, I already I'm a homeschooling mother. Okay. Uh, which means that I already feed them three meals on top of snacks on top of dessert and then 
they don't always agree on the same meal. And then my husband doesn't agree on their meals. And I'm just like, oh, Lord. So I'm making maybe three meals per meal. <laughs> it's like, it's a little, it's a little crazy. I'm not trying, like, if I could just do one meal, all the same foods for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, life would be simple. But that's just not the case right now, especially with little. So it's hard. Nonetheless, and I need simplicity. I need something that I can easily do so I can do it and I can meet my goals doing it. Um, water one time. Okay. It is late at night, so I'm sorry if the, light, the lighting is funny and all that stuff. And no, I don't have any makeup on. So, all that to say. So many people will probably be like, what? But all that to say that I am going back to doing keto. However, I, oh, and IF, I'll be doing, um, for those of you that don't know what IF is, it's intermittent fasting. For me, I just feel better when I don't eat past a certain hour at night. If it helps me to also wait a little longer to have breakfast in the morning, uh, then I'll do that. And if that's just gonna help me to meet my goals and help me feel good um, and is healthy, I'm just not, I'm not hurting myself from doing that, then that's what I'll do. And so I, I, you know, it really does do me best not to eat like after seven. So I usually don't have my first meal until about anywhere between 12 and one, depending on how cooperative my girls are <laughs> and letting me eat um, or like get my meal ready to eat. So that's typically the way it is. Like I won't eat after seven. And I won't eat until my first meal till like anywhere between 12 and 1. And that's how I do intermittent fasting. But there's different ways of doing it. If that's something that you're interested in, definitely um, look into it. So there's research on it that has resulted in a lot of good healthy habits. And um, in many different ways, actually. So that maybe that's something you want to look into. However, um, so that's what I do. I, I'm, I'm going to be doing intermittent fasting as well as keto. And I start tomorrow. So today is Sunday night. And I start tomorrow, which will be Monday. And this will be the day that you guys will be seeing. The video is the day that I'll be starting. So I'm a little nervous. Um, but I think that having visited my doctor, having had a little bit of experience as far as how my body reacts to it, um, I guess knowing the boundaries of my body maybe with the diet, um, as well as the different foods and what I like and don't like and how easy I can make it fit my life. Um, and then also I'll be doing it with my cousin who lives in Illinois, um, and we're kind of doing it together. And um, we're only going to do it for, I believe it's two and a half months. So we're doing it for two and a half months. And I'm going to do, I'm not trying to stay under 20. I don't know how some people do that and then have a full head of gorgeous hair um, on top of that. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be starting keto on Monday. And I'll be incorporating the intermittent fasting with that. I will share a little bit of my day. I might record a little bit of tomorrow of like what it feels like to get back to keto. But I do believe that I probably won't get into ketosis until like Wednesday or Thursday, maybe even Friday. It takes a while for my body to get into ketosis. And I'll be kind of reviewing the rules of um, of keto tonight 
and just kind of like refreshing my knowledge on the ins and the outs and making sure that the, the app I used before, which I'm going to try to use again, this time it was called, um, I think it's called Carb, Carb Manager. I think you have to have the upgraded My Fitness Pal, which costs money in order to use it where you can see like the grams of the different kinds of foods that you're eating. So carb manager, that's what it is. So I'll be using, I don't know if you can see, carb manager. Oh, it's already got all mine. <laughs> I have to update the information, just make sure it's updated. But um, I'll be using that app to, to kind of help me track and make sure that I'm staying under 30. So I'm not going to do under 20, but I am going to do under 30 net carbs. Um, if I remember correctly, it is a sugar-free diet. So everything has to be sugar-free. I won't be eating bread, rice, or pasta. Um, carbs are, as far as like, they're like veg they're, they're pretty strict. There's vegetables and some fruit. And um, it's basically, it's a high fat, moderate protein, low carb diet. And that's what it is. Um, so my body does feel well with the high fat, moderate protein diet. Um, it definitely does. But I think I need to drink, like, eat more protein and more, like, I don't know. I think my proteins really need to be the main bread maker of my diet. I think I need um, a high protein, moderate fat, low carb diet. And like, it's, it's a macro thing. I used to do that as well. I like, I learned about it, but. That's what I'll be doing starting tomorrow, keto and intermittent fasting. I will not be eating after 7, and I will not be eating before 12. And I'll make sure that that's, I believe that's supposed to be 16 hours fasted. Um, so I'll make sure that my math is correct. I, I might be fasting even more than that, not on purpose. But, um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And if that's something that you guys are interested in, um learning a little bit more about. I do have my videos up here and I'll post them up here. I'll put them up in the cards in the video for you to click on and you can see how I did it in the past. I did really, really well. I lost, um, I believe I lost 30, maybe a little bit over 30 pounds, um, doing keto and I felt good. I felt good. I felt energized. I felt healthy, surprisingly. Uh, this might be TMI, I hope not, but my, some, quite a bit of my family has some sort of irritabilities here and there with a couple of different foods, like high in acidity foods or lactose. Um, some are lactose intolerant, not, maybe not completely, but definitely to a good degree. And surprisingly enough, with the cream and the cheese and all that, I didn't have any issues. I was completely like, I don't know. My my mind was blown. I was just like, wait, what? How does this how but I guess I guess it really is the sugar. So um if keto was something that you're looking into doing, then go ahead and look at my videos up there. Um if you want to see how I did it before as well, I'll have my videos posted up there. Um if you want to look into intermittent fasting, um there's plenty of YouTubers that have lots and lots of information regarding that. There's been a, quite a good amount of research regarding intermittent fasting um, and some people have been able to make their weight goals and fitness goals just doing intermittent fasting um, and I mean hey there, there's just many different ways for different folks of course they don't always work for me I seem to have to work really hard for what I want and it just takes me a minute to get to that mindset where I'm just like okay I'm done I'm I'm ready I need, I just, I don't want to hear nothing from nobody. I need you to get up out my way. If you're not going to help me, move. Get out of my way because I am not going to let anyone or anything get in my way of my fitness goals and of me taking care of myself. And I need to take care of myself. And so that's kind of like the mindset that I'm in right now. 
Um, I'm a little scared and hesitant about it, of course, just because it's a change and changes are hard, especially with littles and keep and doing, applying first and first, first and foremost, applying, applying it um, correctly and then applying it well where I can maintain. But at this point, I'm pretty, my mind is pretty set that I'm pretty much done being where I'm at now. And I have to make a change. And I, that's one of my goals that I have for this year. If you haven't seen that video, have I put it out yet? Yes, I, I think I have. Yeah, I have. I think it was my last video. Um, if you haven't seen the video, uh, a few of my goals for the this year, then I'll link the video up here for you to see. But uh, that's one of my goals for this year is to just take better care of myself. Kind of put myself first. Stop putting myself dead 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 set last um I need to take care of myself like that's the only way I'm going to really be able to take care of my husband and our marriage and my girls and our relationship and bringing that, them up and that's the only way I'm going to be able to take care of others I can't take care of them on an empty tank so that was one of my goals for this year, to take care of myself. And that's something I have to do. So I am, long story short, sorry, I am doing keto as a means for a jump start. I'm only going to do it for two and a half months, absolutely no longer than two and a half months. That should be right around, um, I think that's right around Mother's Day. And... Within that time frame, I will be looking at um, ways and, and different diets, lifestyles that are low carb um, for me to be able to do once we are done with that two and a half benchmark. And my cousin is also going to be doing the same thing. So that's pretty much what our mindset. We're going to be keeping it each other accountable we're going to be encouraging and motivating one another we're going to be trading you know if she finds a secret she's going to trade it with me and vice versa and um and we're just going to try to we're going to try to to help each other out even with all the distance me in florida and her in illinois we are going to try to help each other out and help us each other meet our goals healthily as well as incorporating the low carb lifestyle once we're done with this benchmark. And that is also something that we are both going to be doing together. Um, and that's pretty much it. I will do exercise. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it the first day, which would be tomorrow, if I can wake up early enough, depending on the editing. <laughs> Honestly, depending on the editing of this video will determine whether I I have enough energy to wake up early enough and uh, get a workout in before I start my day because I do have quite a bit to do uh, tomorrow. So, yeah, we shall see. Um, what else? Oh, so I will be, we'll be both, we will both be taking our measurements, weights, and before picture, and um, I might share them, I don't know, I might not, um, I might not share everything, and that's just because I don't want to. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not comfortable with showing myself in such a vulnerable state just yet, so maybe I will, maybe I won't, but at this time, no. Uh, and I think that's about it. So if that is something that you would like to watch or get to know more about, definitely feel free to comment down below as well as look at my other videos um, that I use. I will be doing strength training and, and cardio. Um, I might not incorporate it right away just because when doing keto sometimes it's good to give yourself a couple days to get acclimated to being in ketosis um and to all the changes that come along with it before you get into ketosis um 
so I might not do it right away but I do know that I typically like to exercise so normally even if it's just like a little walk it just makes me even if it is just a little walk just a little cardio it just makes me feel better it makes me feel more productive it makes me feel like I'm make, you know actually taking a physical step towards my goals and not just being lazy and not doing it as well as exercise creates endorphins endorphins make you happy and I want to be happy <laughs> so that's something that I'll be doing um and I'll share a good part of that journey with you guys again um some people do this lifestyle for a lifetime um there's people out there that have done it for years and they've done it successfully without losing a lot of hair or you know having all kinds of issues uh there's a fellow youtuber her name is um ashley salvatore there's also another lady who's also i think she, yeah she i believe she lives in illinois um and her name her youtube name is daniela diaries and I think that's I think that's everybody that I know that does keto. I know that Ashley from Grace and Grit, she does not do keto. She's just um I think she has more of like the diet that I said I probably would be better off with, which would be the high protein, moderate fat, low carb. Um and oh and then there's Gage Girl training and she looks awesome. Um but I don't know exactly. I think she's had like a, a macro based diet for different body types and needs. So yeah, there's, there's different girls that I like watch. If you go onto my channel page and you see those that I'm subscribed to, they're all there. Um, I definitely like the information that they provide and the, the help. Um, but yeah, so if that's something that you were looking into, then feel free to go ahead and look at my videos. I would love to share that with you guys. Um, don't forget to click the notification bell so that you do not miss any videos moving forward about this journey on taking better care of myself um, and putting myself first um, and fitness and weight loss. And then, um, I don't know, I guess if you have any questions, just make sure that you put them down in the comment below and that would be it. So, yeah, if any questions about anything, but pretty much my diet kind of, for the most part, it stays the same. It's just no sugar, no bread. So, eh. <laughs> so, uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, if you have watched this video so far, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's, I hope it's not going to be a super long one. And, um... I hope that you did like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Uh, also, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it if you would. And if you have already, thank you so, so, so much for subscribing. And thank you so much also for watching my video and the information that I have put out there. I hope that it was helpful and motivational to some of you out there. And, uh, and that's it. Best of luck. Take care of yourself so you can feel better about yourself. Take care of yourself. Do not do not neglect yourself. Doesn't mean go out and pamper yourself and go to the spa all day long or spend thousands of dollars on this, this, that, and the other. It could be simple things. Um, but take care of yourself. I think that's very important to be aware of there being a real need in our lives and finding a good, healthy way to meet those needs um, and to continue to be in tune with ourselves in a, in a way that we do not neglect ourselves moving forward. So please take care of yourselves and, uh, and that's it. Have a great day. See you guys again. Bye.